case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for this case centers around the heavyweight legal scuffle between bausch and lawmink b and l and hewlett packard company hp a lawsuit sparked by patent infringement allegations over the 684 patent. B&L assumed a defensive stance, leveling a lawsuit at HP for supposedly infringing on their 684 patent. The case, however, took a twist when the trial court snared B&L in accusations of inequitable conduct during the patent's reissue, which thereby made it invalid. Despite the initial ruling, the Court of Appeals found an error in the district court's understanding of inequitable conduct. To be guilty of such, the conduct must be coupled with an intent to deceive or mislead the Patent and Trademark Office, PTO, which B&L contested, sparking the need for a revision. B&L's defense was that a declaration of actual fraud was required to render their claims unenforceable. In the final resolution, the appeals court ultimately ratified the unenforceability and partial invalidity of B&L's patent, affirming that inequitable conduct, regardless of its occurrence during reissue or original prosecution, taints all claims of a patent. Pertaining to the 684 patent, it was found that B&L's move to add dependent claims did not spur additional protection against infringements. Rather, it invalidated claims 10, 12. However, despite this, their original claims, 1, 9, were upheld. Among the legal tug-of-war, B&L made a desperate bid to disqualify the trial judge due to possible bias stemming from HP's employment of the judge's son. This move, however, was flatly rejected. The denial of B&L's motions to vacate the judgment was also affirmed, with the exception relating to their supposed inequitable conduct before the PTO. The consideration of this matter was remanded to recalculate the intent. Finally, the awarding of attorney fees to HP was declared moot due to the remand. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.